Marhaba. Hello. Uh, and thank you for letting me be here. Uh, and congratulations to all of you for uh, being at the start of your academic career. Uh, Dr. Malik used the word fun. His Excellency used the word transformative. So true. And I'll add to that uh, adventure. I hope you are at the start of a real adventure. I think you are. And I hope you see it that way. Being asked to speak here today has made me think back to my own university experience, the adventure of it, uh, film school for me. And I'm very glad for that experience because going into film school, I knew I wanted to be a movie maker. I knew I wanted to take the cartoons that I had been creating and, and turn them into animated movies and produce live action movies. But at the time, I had only assumed that movies were Hollywood, blockbuster, uh, movie stars, big budgets, and that was it. And that's fine if, if, the, you know, if that's the movie you want to make. But I realized once I got into film school how limited that perspective was. I was being introduced to a whole range of new ideas about what movie making could be by working artists who were teaching these classes, working artists who were active in the cinema world, who were introducing me to all sorts of movie makers, experimental movie makers, art films, uh, documentaries, uh, shorts, features, movies that were scratched on black leader and run through a projector in a museum. And it was shown to me how legitimate this is as a form of communication, as a work of art. And it opened in me doors revealing parts of me that were always in there, but that I never knew. And I will always be grateful for my professors for that opportunity to make those discoveries. Basically, the experience at school helped me identify myself to myself and helped me realize the, the artful nature that I really uh, was interested in, which shows itself in the work that I've been doing for the last 30 years. And I hope your university experience uh, provides you with experiences that opens doors in you and introduces you to parts of yourself maybe you didn't know existed or maybe you sensed but needed confirming. I hope you recognize that. I hope you embrace it and nurture it and use it as in, a, in a constructive way to build a happy and productive and fulfilling life. It is possible. This is part of the adventure, the adventure of life. The spirit of adventure is so important. When I was 18, I was drawing cartoons and I knew I wanted to go further with that. I wanted to animate them. I wanted to produce live action movies and animated movies in a big way and in international. And my time at university helped me realize this dream. The lessons that I learned at university uh, built the foundation in me that has led to a very fulfilling life and career. One of the most significant lessons I learned was the importance of being open, being open to new ideas, to different perspectives, to new experiences. At film school, two friends of mine and I had an idea. We wanted to go to the theater school to take a directing class. We figured if we, ex if we experienced directing theater, we could take what we learn and apply it to our directing of movies. And so we went to our classmates We said, come on, here's what we're gonna do, let's all go, let's go. And I was so surprised at the resistance we got from so many people 
who were not open to this idea. So the three of us went, and the professor teaching theater directing 101 was a man called Sam McCready. And Mr. McCready not only became my professor for theater directing, but he became a friend and he became a mentor, a very important mentor. And a relationship began that very day of the first day of theater directing, and it extended 23, 24 years up to his passing. The joy of the friendship brought so much warmth and comfort to me. The mentorship, the lessons I learned from Mr. McCready uh, about being a working artist and about being human have stayed with me and have helped me in so many ways, personally and professionally. First and foremost, Mr. McCready reminded me to never lose touch with the child within. Never lose touch with those childlike qualities. Not childish, not talking about tantrums, uh, selfishness, totally different. Childlike, to be open, curious, experimental, playful, in the moment. It's important that we're open. See things not as they are, but as they could be. And a really great and easy exercise to practice this is just look up at the sky and the clouds and imagine what you see in those clouds, the shapes, the objects, the creatures. These are keys that open doors inside of us and introduce ourselves to ourselves, what we think, what we feel. Mr. McCready reminded me to observe the world around me, to observe how people walk, how relationships develop, how light and shadow shape an object, so important for us as cartoonists, as animators. He taught me not to fear failure. All of creation is a series of trial and error experiments. There is no failure. There's just doing and responding to what happens. Conditioning these qualities in the arts has helped me in so many other ways in life. Conditioning myself to be curious about the characters in my dream world. Learning about them, asking, who are you? What do you need? What prevents you from getting what you need? Has conditioned me to be curious and interested about the characters in my awake life, showing interest in the people around me, being curious about the world around me. To develop the habit of going within and reflecting is conditioned a thoughtful meditative life. It helps me position myself to look at the experiences I've had in life in ways that create meaning. And from that meaning comes clarity, understanding, and sometimes healing. Conditioning myself to live in the moment helps me fully experience life and prevents me from getting too concerned, too overwhelmed with worry about the past or worry about the future and just live in the moment. And the very best advice Mr. McCready shared two things that continue to help me, to guide me and position me for real understanding. Don't make assumptions and don't take things personally. Practicing these two things prevents so much needless, wasteful negative energy. And I hope your university experience brings you relationships like the one I have with Mr. McCready, a deep, real, meaningful relationship between two people is the greatest gift any of us could have. I wish you all the very best with your university experience and that you contribute your voice to it, that you have something to say and you share it. 
and that you make discoveries that help you define yourself to yourself. Masala ma, thank you very much.